also my earbuds for my phone are gone because kiddo took them and I don't even know what those are. So I'm here trying to find some cheap earbuds for my phone. I have good earbuds for my computer, but I need some for when I'm on my phone. Now these aren't my ideal color, but they're $10. And the only ones left ten dollars that are wireless so she hasn't run my insurance yet but she knows that she can run she can run it just fine so I paid my copay so I was expecting to pay 60 70 bucks for some massages you know give or take I had to pay for 12 massages the six that we just did and six from last year that Ellen I still hasn't paid her for. Like, are you kidding me? And like, bless her heart for her not saying anything till now. But like, are you kidding me, Ellen I? You didn't pay her when you get 12 massages for the life of your claim. And I only went to 12 massages last year. And you didn't pay her? And I just had to pay for 12 massages. And I would like to continue to go, but massages are not in the budget. My insurance, uh, I have 16 that I that are covered by them. My copay is 11 bucks, which is not bad at all. Um, but with my debt snowball that I'm currently trying to do, it's, it's just not in the budget. I need to get out of debt. You know, I can't drop 40 bucks a month on massages because that's what it would be right now. Especially with a bunch of the emotional spending that I did. And she's like, do you want me to get this billed out for you and then shoot it in the mail? I said, no, ma'am. Uh, I put money aside for my tax return to pay for these massages. So go ahead and hit me with it. I Again, I was expecting to pay 60, you know, round, I rounded it to 11 bucks a piece. I was expecting to pay $66 today. I paid $126.40 today. It's almost $60 I wasn't expecting to spend. So there's that. I will say that I can move my shoulder a lot more, a lot better. Um, my reach is well above my shoulder, both directions, forward and back, uh, forward and side. I still can't reach behind my back. So maybe they'll be happy with my progress up. And my progress out to the side. We'll see when I go to the doctor in March. Yeah. Not thrilled. Not thrilled at all. You ever go from being early and ahead of schedule to going, oh my gosh, what just happened? That is how I'm feeling right now on my way to massage. <coughs> Luckily, she's not far away, but depending on people, we'll determine whether I actually get there on time. Uh, I went from checking my watch and making sure to whatever. All of a sudden, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be late. I'm, I'm going to be late. I, I'm never late, especially to massage. So we're going to find out whether or not my insurance will let her run on my previous massages against my insurance. And that'll determine how much money I'm going to have to pay today. I'm really hoping that I only have to pay my copay, which is like 1088 massage. So 11 bucks. So for the last five, 55 bucks, 
and then this massage will make it 66 bucks versus like 480 so hopefully when I come out of my massage appointment it'll be a happy face I did two laps today on my walk I'm very excited um, so I don't know if it's because I was doing extra stuff before or what but like I did my loop the other day and it was instead of 1.4 miles it was 1.25 miles um, and today I did two loops and it was 2.27 so I don't know I don't know I know it's not tracking accurately anymore at this point okay um, please go I'm almost to my massage I would like to get there there's my physical therapy see you guys tomorrow So, with the one stop light, it's taking me two and a half minutes to get to my massage therapist's office. And that's how I'm like not super freaking out that I'm not there super early or I didn't leave super early because it's been two and a half minutes. I'm here. So, this will be my 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 last. This will be my last massage session because I just can't afford it. So, it's not in the budget. So here we go. Wish me luck, hello friends. We just got done at physical therapy. So this used to be like my go-to color, and it doesn't look that bad on camera. Oh, I just messed my messy bun up, but I'll fix that. But I feel like I feel like it's a little too bright right now because I'm so pale. Um, in real life, I feel like it's a very bright color because I normally like more like the color you see on the screen, the darker, the darker pink, the darker pink, so the the darker reds, but not quite like red, red. Um, we are on our way to Safeway. We got to pick up a couple things that we need for burritos so we can have burritos for dinner. I had the meat defrosting. I just need to get the shredded cheese for the kiddo. I want olives in my burrito. Maybe some refried beans. So I need to grab those items. Oh. Oh, thank you so much. Uh-huh. Oh, yay, coffee. That was Amy. She totally just ran out to bring me my coffee cup because I forgot my coffee cup. Oh, I love Amy. I love her so much. But we're on our way to go get a little bit. And then we're going to come home. We're going to go on our walk. Two laps. Because I'm feeling good about the two laps. And then we're going to work on discussion board posts. Hopefully there are more postings in class. Because we'll do that. Let me grab my sunglasses. Um, there we go. <clears throat> and we're going to try to work ahead on discussion board posts because I'm still waiting for my teacher's response to my papers. I might try to do a little bit on the paper for 8015. That way I can just make minor adjustments to it. Do I want to do so we hit the Western Chehalis Trail, but I don't like walking to the trail because there's not a good sidewalk to get to the trail. So I usually do my loop, and I'll just stick to my loop. But I like walking. I, I like walking and riding my bike on the Western Chehalis Trail. <clears throat> 
I think if I'm gonna have to drive to the Western Chehalis Trail, I'll come down to one of these areas where it connects up so that my car is in a safer spot because the people who um, park by the trail on the main road, I don't, uh -uh, they don't park safely. And the one spot that you could turn into to park safely to walk a few feet to the trail, they've closed off because apparently that wasn't, you know, public property, like part of the trail property. It was just someone's private property and people were parking there to sleep in their cars and I guess people didn't like that. So I'm actually going to put on my earbuds, probably listen to some music while we're walking around Safeway and then put the food away. <clears throat> I don't, per I don't, I don't foresee myself buying anything that's going to need refrigeration so uh, or freezer so I should just be able to drop the bag in my front door and immediately leave for my walk because we're trying to be a healthy queen as I skip breakfast today I'm eating a lifesaver and I'm drinking coffee <laughs> we're getting there baby steps so just got done volunteering for the week <clears throat> at Alex's class. I always have a lot of fun and the teacher always learns something new and interesting from me. Well, I think it's new and interesting. Well, I know it's new. It's interesting. I don't know. Maybe she finds it interesting. I don't know. She's a second grade teacher. She's seen a lot. I totally think one of her classmates is not thrilled with me because oops I did not let her get away with breaking the rules um, today quite a few of the I mean the other the other students didn't really have an issue but <clears throat> you could tell she was really not thrilled with me but you know when there's a parent volunteer we're a second set of eyes for the teacher couple times I, I had to tell my kiddo to focus because she gets a little excited because I'm there plus it's a science day sorry there were some girls I want to say either fourth or fifth graders are standing at the fence and they're waving people as they drove by and I must have been the first person to wave back because they got just got super excited that I waved back it's really cute uh, <clears throat> Sometimes she gets a little, a little excited that I'm there and can lose a little bit of focus. So, um, especially since it's a science day and they got to do a lot of hands-on things. And today was uh, slow changes over time. So a lot of the stuff that they're doing, obviously, is sped up because they're doing it, you know, quickly for class. And I, I was telling her teacher, I don't remember doing cool stuff like this in second grade for science. You know, let's see, I was in Alabama for second grade. And I don't really have anything that super sticks out. I have things that stick out for third, fourth, fifth, every grade after that. But um, second grade, I don't think so. Uh, kindergarten, I had Miss Graham. And I had all those stairs that I had to climb up with a broken leg. I remember that. My sister would be late to school, late to her class like every day because she had to help me up the stairs with crutches. So, I mean, they knew why she was late to class, so it's not like she got in trouble for being late to class. First grade, first and second grade. Nothing really stands out. get my glasses first and second grade. Maybe I got my glasses second grade. <clears throat> and I remember wanting to be a cheerleader for the school. Bearcats? Something like that. And I remember 
during second grade we had the snowstorm because in 1992 we had the really bad snowstorm in Alabama. That sticks out, but like classroom stuff, not so much. Oh, my father is not here at my house yet. Okay. Did he go to work today? He's been getting a lot of overtime. So my teacher finally sent back my presentation. I did get 100%. He wants me to add a couple things inside of my notes, <clears throat> my speaker notes. That's where he wants me to put the citations, which is fine. I'll go through and I'll cite my, my speaker notes and I need to add on to it. And there's a long list of stuff he wants us to add to it. And my presentation is like five-ish minutes. And he wants the presentation to be, the new presentation to be 8 to 12 minutes. So I'm going to work on that. Um, I haven't got my paper back, but I am doing little bits and pieces until I know for sure that I'm going in the right direction. So I'm super excited about that. So we're going to go in. We're going to get some more food because I remember to have breakfast before I left this time. And I'm going to have some breakfast, well, some lunch-ish. And work on that. And then when my dad gets here, help him with the gate. I had a really good talk with the boyfriend last night. Really good talk. Hopefully, like he takes it in. And I mean, he will. I, I love him. I love him very much. So it's getting dark in the garage. It's time to step out. Let's, uh, let's go do some homework. Good morning. So, I'm going to insert a clip here to show you what I was dealing with yesterday afternoon. Yeah. Oh, I got to go. My dad's parked next to me, so I got to go this way. And do a little, do a little turn. Yes, those are pigs. In my driveway. Little pigs. Little piglets. We tried to catch them. Well, we tried to wrangle them into my front yard to try to see if we could call the local vet, see if anyone was, you know, left their gate open and reported missing some pigs. But we couldn't, we couldn't convince them. How is this? Do I need to fix this? Actually not bad. <clears throat> He's hitting one spot pretty hard. I'll double check that when I get back. Uh, yeah, pigs. They were just running up and down the main road and then they are checking my front yard for food. <sighs> yeah, that was cool. And then they took off and we couldn't catch them, so. Hopefully, they're home safe and sound. Oh yeah, there we go. I ate my good creamer. My dad put the almond roca creamer in. That is just not a good creamer for me. So I put my chocolate toffee in and that was a dead baby coyote in the middle of the road. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so today we're on a physical therapy and then we're gonna go work on our slideshow, our PowerPoint slideshow for school because my instructor did send back my PowerPoint with just uh, a few notes. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to incorporate more pictures, but he sent back a few notes and I'm gonna make the corrections and then send in the new version, obviously. Uh, and then I'm gonna work a little bit on the paper. I'm not gonna do too much into it, because I do want to wait and make sure that I'm I'm going in the right direction of this paper. And it's super important 
for me to know that I'm going in the right direction because I feel lost. I feel a little lost on this subject. I feel like no matter how many times I'm reading, and I really enjoy, and that's the thing, is I'm really enjoying learning about risk assessments, which is a section, which is the entire class, and the steps you got to take in order to make a risk assessment. And I'm really enjoying it. But at the same time, I feel lost because we're writing about an event that needs a risk assessment done. But am I supposed to be doing an actual risk assessment? Or are we just still, like at this point, are we still, because it was write a paper uh, on a, a topic that would need one. So I did. And then like, are we still... So we'll see. I'm gonna wait for his feedback to see if I'm even in the right direction. And if I am, great. And if I'm not, I'll know and I can, I only have the bare bones of my paper started. Hopefully I'm gonna try to get that this weekend and go from there. I need to go to Starbucks this weekend to upload my vlog from last week. And this one, um, I'm going to try not to be lazy and do it because the kiddo is going to be at my mom's. So, I will go Saturday while she's at mom's and spend all day there uploading and doing homework. <clears throat> Friday when I get to my mom's, we've got to make a plan because not next weekend, but the weekend after we'll make a plan excuse me to take the kids to boom shaka excuse me it's not called boom shaka anymore but whatever it'd be a lot of fun i promised the kiddo when i got my tax return i would put money aside for said activity and even though i've had quite a few expenses pop up and i mean that's murphy's law you get a little bit of extra money oh great more expenses because, you know, earlier this week, instead of paying for six massages, I paid for 12. Uh, my escrow was short. Just boom, boom, boom. All these little things. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, extra bill here. Extra bill there. Boom, boom, boom. All these things that I've had to do. So, there's that. Today is the 27th of February. We are almost done with this month. I cannot believe it. It is so crazy to me that we are almost done with this month, you guys. <sighs> Alas, it is time to get physical. Good morning. It's Friday. We're going to take the kiddo after school to Grandma Ma's. I've already done my walk. It's so hard to read that number. Two miles again today. I got my bowl of ramen. And I got so distracted by working on my PowerPoint presentation that I forgot I was making ramen. But it's the Naguri seafood ramen. So it's udon noodles. So they can take the extra boiling. Mm. And some little cheesy sausages. Left over from kiddos dinner last night. And I have a hard boiled egg in here. Mm. So good. It is freezing cold out. But not so cold that I'm not gonna have my iced coffee. So good. Uh, my gonna, <clears throat> gonna help my nephew with his homework when I get to my mom's house. I got a tiny bit of schoolwork done yesterday, but my shoulder. Wednesday night I was not feeling well when I got my response back late but yesterday I was not feeling good there's no way 
no way I could have done my homework yesterday. Delicious coffee. So, there's not a whole lot to update on today. Not a whole lot to do today. But since I was taking a break from the slideshow to eat, I figured it'd be a good time to hop on here and have a conversation with you guys. I'm not gonna lie, my shoulder, my shoulder hasn't been doing the greatest. And my physical therapist is pushing the stretching but I get so uncomfortable at night. It's so hard to sleep. And I'm also having hip issues. But I looked up TFL stretches to help stretch my problem area in my hip area. So that's what I'm working on. But I like... I definitely like being more active again. And even though it was super cold this morning, I did do the two miles instead of just the one. And I feel good about doing the two miles. So, um, I'm going to do my best to keep positive and continue to do two miles. On a daily basis, like this weekend, I'm going to get up, do my two miles, and then go to Starbucks and upload and work on my homework. Um, I need to update my slideshow. I need to... I won't do the voiceovers till I come home tomorrow night. And I need to work on my paper. But I feel good. I actually feel good. So, let's do this. But, it's another beautiful week. And I'm glad that you guys are along with my journey. And if you watch my other videos, fantastic. If you don't, no big deal. I appreciate it. <clears throat> I'm not the best at budgeting, but I do try. And... <clears throat> I'm not the best at pre-plans or plan with me because I don't have a whole lot of plans, but I love them. And so I want to share them with you guys. I want to share the stickers with you guys. And just share all the great things with you guys. So, um, you're going to see in my budget wrap up, that video has already gone live by the time this one does. But you're going to see that I was able to make... Yeah, a good payment with my tax return and I'm very excited for that and my boyfriend was telling me the other day how proud he is of me of being so motivated with my finances and that I'm one of the most financially sound persons that he knows and he's very proud of me and that meant a lot because sometimes I don't feel that way. Sometimes I feel like I'm so behind the curve as far as like retirement as I mean, I set up a Roth IRA like two years ago, a little over two years ago. And I still put money into my Roth IRA every month. Uh, and when I work, I'll be able to put more money into it. But uh, just, you know, I have my own house. You know, I, I pay my bills and, and I just, I'm, I'm getting better. And... I compare my life to those around me quite often and I'm trying to do it less because comparing um, a quote that I heard at the beginning of the year that I'm trying to remember is comparison is the thief of joy. So stop comparing yourself to other people. It, it's easier said than done. I know. I'm living it. I'm trying. 
but comparison is the thief of joy. And I'm trying to have more joy in my life. So I love you guys and I'll see you next week. Bye.